Please pray with me. O Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of each heart be acceptable in your sight. Lord, you who are our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Have you ever felt unknown? Like there's people all around you that you're acquainted with, but you think in your head to yourself, if only they knew me. Maybe you're a little glad about what, them not knowing because you know what's inside of you can sometimes be a little bit dark. But maybe if you only knew me is about some of the good things about you. You long for someone to just understand what is important to you or who you are or you just can't seem to truly communicate what you mean. Maybe you felt like people have assumed things that simply aren't true, and you just want to scream the truth at them, even though you know it might not matter to them or change their opinion. And it hurts that they don't see you for who you are. But God sees you, and God knows you. When I read 2 Corinthians today, I get the feeling that this lack of uh, being known is also what Paul is feeling, that the people he's been leading and ministering to just aren't getting it or understanding him. He's trying to share the gospel to teach new Christians about the faith, but they're fighting and they're misunderstanding him. He's telling them we're putting no obstacle in anyone's way so that they can believe in the truth. And as servants of God, we have committed ourselves in every way. And then he describes all the bad things they've endured because of the truth. And he explains all the ways they've used their goodness to speak the truth. They've been disbelieved or thought of as imposters, and yet they speak truth. He claims that while he and his team of ministers are well-known, they are unknown. But God sees Paul. And God knows Paul. In our gospel today, Jesus teaches us all about the truth too. And being truthful to ourselves and to others. Our gospel today warns us against portraying ourselves wrongly in faith. Because this is the thing. If we're practicing our faith in front of others so that they'll know that we're faithful, or they'll know that we're Christian, or they'll know that we're pious, then we've really missed the point of our actions. Because our actions are to be practiced to keep us in relationship with God, and in relationship with others, and for reconciliation to God and others. We aren't doing those actions for our own sake, to point ourselves out to others. I don't think Jesus here is really telling us not to do these things in public either, Rather, uh, Jesus warns against selfish motivations. We're supposed to practice our faith in community, but not to shine the light on ourselves. Jesus warns us against acting for show or hoarding earthly treasure and reminds us that where our treasure is, there is our heart. Because God sees us and God knows us. Today, Ash Wednesday, is our opportunity in particular to be reminded that God sees and knows all of us, all the parts of us. God knows our sin and our brokenness. God sees the darkness that we wish to hide from other people, if only they knew. But God also sees the good created in each one of us. God sees the real you, the truth about who you are what you love, what's important to you, who you love, how hard you try, what you want others to know when they assume incorrectly or simply misunderstand you all the time. The prophet Joel invites us today to return to the Lord our God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Just as Paul urges us to reconciliation, so does Joel, the prophet. Even in all our darkness, even in all our sinful tendencies and ways, the Lord says, even now, return to me with all your heart. Because I see you, 
and I know you. Ash Wednesday reminds us of the darkness and the brokenness within us all. It reminds us that the penalty for sin is death, because we are dust, and to dust we shall return. But it also prepares us to reconcile with God through Christ. We are urged today to return to the Lord because God is merciful and slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. And this is a love for all the good in us, all the truth that's sometimes hard to see. Yet as hard as it is, God sees us and God knows us. God sees you and God knows you. Return to the Lord and know God as well. Amen.